There's another one, baby. This feels like a better fish. All right, y'all, welcome back. Quick turnaround, I love it. So as the title reads, I'm back down in North Carolina, the Outer Banks, doing some bridge fishing. And this is actually my second time fishing with Matt from Travel and Fish. I'll put his channel link in the description. And I was just trying to get him acclimated with the water down there. Didn't know really what to expect. I had some previous luck at these bridges, but really didn't know. You know, the seasons are changing, the water temperature is dropping. And uh, so we just were out there really just exploring to see what we can catch. So let's get to it. There he is. Yep. Small fish. Oh no, he'll keep. Oh, maybe. Yeah. He's a little short, I think. Uh, he might be legal. Little male. Yeah. You said what am I using? Yeah. Just a paddle tail Z-Man? Yeah. That's usually what I use all the time because I'm up there catching striped bass. That's my favorite bait. I don't know. Uh, I think to the road. I'm gonna find out. Yeah. Should be enough water up in there. High tides in an hour and a half. Another one. A little trouty. He'll keep. Throwing this uh, Z Man paddle tail. A quarter ounce jig head. Little Pro Cure mullet. That's number two. what it is but it seems speckled trout in North Carolina prefer soft plastics at least I've had more better luck with soft plastics than hard another one this one feels a little better You a little fatter. Oh yeah. Nice little trouty. Oh no, he threw off my Z-Man. Damn it. no gators all around the same size 14 15 inches
Komm mal sehen, man. <lacht> yes, sir. Got your slam. <laughs> Trolling my way out to the boat channel. Caught my limited specs. And as I'm trolling here, I keep getting hooked up but losing the fish. I don't know what they are. They feel decent. Could be stripers, trout. Bluefish. Oh, there's a hit. Got him on the troll. Like a trout. Feels good. He water skiing. Looks still has some weight to him. He'll keep. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Fifteen. Good eating size. Another one, baby. This feels like a better fish. Man. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. Well, maybe not. Fourteen and a half. Jerkbait, putting in that work. Got a good fish here. Or maybe he's just foul hooked. Fighting much, must be foul hooked. Oh, yeah. How did I get you there, buddy? That's number five. So 
my camera died just as I hooked up with that last fish. Short little speck, 13 inches. I'm getting a little worried. Swells are getting taller, wind's picking up. And I haven't even made it to my, my destination yet. Hoping I don't have to turn back. So I made it out here. Don't know how much time I have. This is getting pretty rough. I'm gonna get wet. Two ounce jig. Pair of sand fleas. Hooked up. Striper. Oh snap. It was a weird hit. Hit it on the retrieve. Oh boy. Might be a keeper too. Dang. I mean, I see these marks right here. I didn't think they were stripers. Let's go, baby. I gotta check the regs. Don't know if they're in season. Calm down. All right, so the minimum is 18 inches. It's two a day and you can't keep a fish in between 22 to 27. I think he's right about 20. Look at him. Yeah, he's 20 inches. So that's a keeper striper. That's nice. I don't know if I'm going to keep him. go ahead and put them on the stringer Since I know they're stripers, get that Z-Man down there. Let's see how they feel. I think he hit it. So nothing on the Z-Man. First drop back down with the sand flea I got hit. Hooked up. Oh. That's not what we want. Catfish. I hope that's not what's down there. So I've been getting quite a few hits.
What'd you catch that speck on? Yep. It's 15, he's in the bag. Yeah, I got two of them right here for you. Are they keepers? Yeah. What's the, what's the length of those? I think they're both 15, 15 and a half. Yeah, I put the, uh, I put the grip on them this time. I don't <laughs> <laughs> we, we ain't playing that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Right. Just caught a catfish. What's that? I just caught a catfish. A what? A catfish. Really? Yeah. Well, that halfway doesn't surprise me. I'm surprised you got that flounder. Yeah, he was just laying up there in that shallow water, but he was a deep. No, I mean, no. After some shrimp, anything that crawl. I mean, that was like two and a half feet of water in there. Mm. Where I threw it. This is the bait right here. I tear striped bass up like this. Bass assassin? Yeah. This is the salt and pepper. Yeah, that's a good color. Up in Maryland at the Bay Bridge, they can't refuse this. Got him. Oh no! Dropped him. Got him? Uh. Makes me sad. <laughs> if I didn't catch those things all the time up in the right. night, I'd be, my feelings would be hurt. Yeah. Uh, frankly, I don't care if I see another striped bass for a while. I hear you. So. Hey, we can head back anytime you're ready. Yeah, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is. Uh, Start working the files on the way back and we'll just kind of jig this face okay. for a few of them and then I'm going to start trolling. Okay. Sounds good. So unfortunately, the conditions got way too rough for us and we had to make that long pedal back in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching as always. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.